We're a month from the start of the New Mexico State Fair, which is as much a competition as it is a celebration. But some competitors as young as 13 are wondering if it's even worth entering this year because of what the state did to them. What's going on? News 13's Kim Holland got answers in tonight's special assignment. My whole life has been revolved around my horses. When I was eight or nine, we started showing. I wish they would get a hold of it. It's not that hard to do. And now we need to spend money to go into the next show. Has me very uncomfortable feeling. Next class. Competitors say the show payouts at last year's state fair was anything but fair. After we got our first check, um, none of the none of the math made sense. Cheryl Posey's 18-year-old daughter, Rachel. Um, the farthest we've gone is Jackson, Mississippi. Is one of the most decorated equestrian competitors in New Mexico. Last year was a really good year for me. I won uh, four of the horse shows at the New Mexico State Fair. Rachel says the checks for the winnings usually come in within two months. Some paid the day of the event. It's been really quick. This year, that didn't happen. It took almost a year. The money you win at one show goes and pays to the next show. And in some cases, that pays your gas to get home. Rachel says the fair owed her about $800 from her winnings. I've received probably six checks, none of them adding up to the amounts that they should. Reverse at the walk. Please reverse at the walk. She says the paperwork for the horse shows was confusing. It was unclear what payout was for what winning. The same thing. Julie's been to quite a few. Um, happened to 13 year old Trent Kitts. Trent's a fourth generation horse person. And his $400 winnings. Random checks here and there. We got some in January, we got some in March, we got some in April, we got some in July. But those two competitors are not alone. Expo New Mexico says 89 of the 200 winners' checks were flawed. That's nearly half. That's when we started to learn that they had some accounting and bookkeeping problems that they were needing to audit the books. It, it just, it, it breaks my heart that, you know, you've got not just kids, but people in general. Expo New Mexico General Manager Dan Morning says Expo's contractor used poor accounting practices, doling out the wrong amounts for horse shows. Last November, Morning said he put a stop to the payments until staff could go through all 1,800 horse entrance paperwork to confirm correct payments. So it was a meticulous undertaking, a very arduous task, and it's rotten and it took as long as it did, but it got done. I don't want these people getting inaccurate checks. For the mishap, Expo New Mexico offered last year's participants free horse classes, Come in and line up. an apology, and more importantly, a promise this won't happen again. It hired a new contractor to do the books and cut checks for this year's horse shows at the fair. But the good thing is, we fixed it. All this leaves a bad taste in competitors' mouths. So where's the trust in a large organization, and what does this teach our children about who, who do you trust in paying your money out? We'll enter the fair again. I, I hate to take that stance because part of me says, you know, if they're going to treat you bad, you really shouldn't go back. On special assignment, Kim Holland, KRQE News 13. Since Kim started asking questions, the Expo New Mexico general manager tells us all horse show participants have now been paid. This year's state fair starts Wednesday, September 10th.